Hi, in this video we're going to look at how you can get started with Keynote. So by the end of the video you're going to know what Keynote is, what the interface looks like, how to edit and add text and images, and then how to get your presentation up and running. So let's get started. Okay, so firstly, what is Keynote? So Keynote is Apple's presentation software. It is very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint, which I'm sure you've probably used or at least heard of before. It's the most popular uh, presentation software. However, um, Apple have their own version called Keynote and it comes installed on all Macs and it's free for Mac users. So it's really worthwhile getting used to using Keynote because um, it can actually do a lot of things that PowerPoint um, doesn't do as well. Um, and on top of that, obviously being free, it's a great tool to be able to use. So if you don't, if you search your Mac and you can't find Keynote, just simply head over to the App Store and you can download it from there. So when you open up Keynote, the first screen that you'll be greeted with is this theme window here. So essentially here you have a whole host of themes, templates, that you can choose to start your presentation. Um, this can be really useful if you know the type of layout that you might be looking for, or you just want a bit of inspiration and want to make it look a little bit more interesting, then you can obviously go ahead and select one of the themes. If you're looking for a more basic blank presentation, you have your basic white, black, and so on in the middle here. Last thing before we select a template is up here, in the top right of this theme window, you can see it says wide 16 by nine. If we click on there, we can actually change it to standard four by three. And you can see that these themes have now gone square. So most of the time you'll be using a wide 16 by nine. That's what the majority of modern displays use. However, if you know you're presenting on a screen that is four by three aspect ratio, so essentially more of a square, then selecting the standard um, 4x3 theme uh, may be more useful for you. Okay, so I've gone ahead and selected this basic white theme. So here we are in Keynote itself with that basic white theme, like I said. Um, and let's just go ahead and take a quick look at the interface before we jump into editing anything. So over here on the left-hand side, we have the navigation pane. So this is where you can uh, see all of the slides that you add to your presentation. You can click them and you can edit them, edit them from there. Um, at the top, we have the menu bar. So this is where you'll find uh, the main options that you'll need. So you can change your view, your zoom, you can add slides, you can play your presentation, you can add tables, graphs, text, shapes, media, and comments. You can collaborate with other people and then you can format, animate, and document. Obviously, you're not gonna know what all of those options mean, just know that if you're looking for them, they're up in that top bar. Over on the right-hand side, we have the format pane. So essentially, whenever you select an element in your presentation, so like text or images or the slide itself, the options of formatting you'll find over in this right-hand side. And then obviously, lastly, in the middle, we have the slide that we are currently editing. So first thing you're probably gonna do once you open up your presentation is you're gonna change the text. And that's just as simple as just double clicking and then typing the text that you want. So it's really straightforward to be able to edit the text in Keynote. Um, all of the slides that you add or themes that you select will have text boxes in place. So it's just a case of double clicking and adding the text that you want. So down here at the bottom, I have this author and date box, but I'm thinking, well, I might not actually need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it and just hit the delete button on my keyboard. Okay. Okay, so we have our text. Let's go ahead and look at how we can now format the text that we've created. So I've clicked on my text box and you can see over on my format pane, I now have a few more options. So I have style, text, and arrange. So within this style section, 
um, this deals with the actual text box itself. So if I just wanted to add a background color to my text box, I could do so. If I wanted to add um, a border, I can add that to my text box as well. And similarly, if I want to add a shadow, I can add that shadow as well. I can also adjust the opacity, which is essentially how see-through the box may be. So I may not want it completely uh, solid. I might want to be able to see through it just a little bit. Okay, so style deals with the editing and formatting of the actual text box. The next section, text, as you would guess, is where you actually format the text itself. So you can um, adjust the font if you want to. So go ahead and select the text. So click, hold, and drag to select the text you want. And then you can go ahead and select the font that you might be looking for. You can go ahead and adjust the size of that font as well. And you can make it bold, uh, underlined, italic, and so on. Um, you can also adjust the text color as well. So I might go ahead and change that to uh, white instead. And then I can also adjust the alignment of my text. So I can put it in the middle, I can put it over to the right, or I can keep it on the left. I might go ahead and keep it in the middle. Um, I also have these three arrows and lines, and this is to do with aligning my text um, horizontally. So door, at the moment, it's aligned to the bottom. I can put it into the middle of my text box, or I can go ahead and put it at the top. So again, I think I'm gonna keep that just right in the middle, um, horizontally and vertically uh, of my text box. Um, and then lastly, we have the arrange section, which allows you to essentially, so if I had multiple text boxes or multiple images, it allows me to layer them. So I might have one slightly on top of the other one or slightly behind. And we'll look more at that uh, when we add some images. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually format the slide itself. So if I just click over here, so away from my text boxes and click on the actual slide itself, you can see that I have um, a few options over here. So I can change the whole master slide if I wanted to. So if I change the master slide, that will change the overall design and layout of the slide. So it would completely adjust uh, where things are placed and being moved to. Um, if I just want to add some color to my background, um, I can go ahead to this background section here. I can go to color fill, and then I can select the color that I would like my presentation to be. Um, similarly, if I wanted to still have color, but make it look a little bit more interesting, I can use the gradient fill. Um, so, here it says, well, what color do you want to start with? And then what color do you want to end with? And it will gradually adjust that color until it gets to where you want. You can adjust the angle of it as well. So if you want it grading from left to right or right to left or top to bottom and so on. We also have the option um, to add an image. So if you have an image that you would like to use as the background, you can go ahead and click on image fill and then you would choose the image that you want to add as your background. So if I click choose, I'm gonna select this keynote logo here, go open and then it is added, it has my background. So obviously at the moment it's quite big so I can use the scale option over here on the right hand side, the scale slider and I can go ahead um, and edit that if I would like to. So the advanced image fill actually allows you to choose both. So you could have an image with some color overlaid on the top.
Okay, so I've gone ahead and tidied up my slide um, a little bit, and I think I'm ready to add another slide. So we do that over in the top left-hand corner. We have a plus icon button, and it says add slide underneath. So if we hit that plus, you'll see a whole host of different options come up. So we have a title, title and photo, title and photo, title and bullets, bullets. So sometimes this can be a little bit overwhelming. Just remember anything you choose, you can change it at any point in time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this title, bullets and photo, because I think I want to have a title, I wanna add a little bit of information, and I wanna change my image as well. So we know how to edit the text, so we know we can just double click. It's the same with a bullet list, okay? So I can go ahead and just add uh, the points that I want to my bullet list. What we haven't done yet is look at images. So two different ways of um, adding images. So if you have a template like this and there's already an image on there, you can actually go ahead and replace that image. So if we select the image, so I've clicked on the image here, go to the image section over here in the format pane and then hit replace. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that with my Keynote logo. Okay, so really simple, really straightforward. Um, we also have our style and arrange sections like we did last time. So if we go to style, we can again add things like a border. Um, we can add a shadow effect. Um, we can also have a look at the style. So if you want it to look a little bit more like um, a picture that's just been placed on the presentation, then you can uh, kind of add this style uh, to make it look like that. Um, similarly with the Arrange tab, that's where I was talking about being able to layer things on top of another. So let's go ahead and add another image. So obviously now we don't have another image on this template that we can just replace. So we need to actually add an image ourselves. Quickest way to do this is just have your image in a, on your desktop or in a finder window and then drag and drop the image on. So I actually have an image in my folder down in my dock here. I'm gonna click and hold and I'm gonna drag that onto my presentation. So you can see that that's quite big and kind of in the wrong position. So I'm gonna use the little squares in the top corner to click and hold and then just adjust the size. Um, I'm also going to go into my style pane. I'm gonna make it look similar in style to what my keynote image does. So if I drag this image over, you can see at the moment, it's on the top of my keynote image. If I go to arrange and I hit back, it will put it behind. Okay, uh, for the minute I think I'm gonna keep it at the front and I'm just gonna move it down here. But it's really useful if you've got multiple images and you wanna layer them on top of each other, you can do that in this arrange section over here. Okay, so we have um, edited this slide here and you may find that you've got to point, you've added images and you're thinking, well, actually, I kind of want to keep those images on the next slide. I just want to change the text or the information. So what you can actually do is duplicate the slide itself, which is really straightforward. So if you go over to our navigation pane over on the left hand side, uh, click the slide that you want to copy or duplicate. And then you're going to um, secondary click, control click, uh, command click on your the slide that you want to duplicate we're going to then just go and select duplicate in the menu that pops up. So you can see we have an exact copy, so you could keep the pictures and then you could just change the information on there. Okay, so so far we know how to choose a theme for our presentation, we know how to format our slides, we know how to add text and format that text, we know how to add images and format our images, we know how to arrange them, we know how to add new slides, and we know how to duplicate slides. So the last thing to really look at is you create this amazing presentation. 
how do you actually play it? Now, it's probably pretty obvious, but essentially if you hit the big play button at the top, okay, that will take you to full screen and you can go through your presentation. Um, you may find once you've played your presentation that you're thinking, you know, it just doesn't look quite as good as I thought it might. So what you can actually do is remember the themes that we looked at at the start of the video. You can actually change those themes at any point in time. So if we go ahead and select document in the very top right hand corner and then change theme, we can go back and we can select one of the themes that we saw at the start. Um, this is really useful because sometimes you might not know exactly what theme that you might be looking for, but once you've gone in and you've edited a few things, you might have a better idea. So I could go ahead and hit this gradient and go choose, and it will apply that new theme to all of my slides. So at any point in time, if you think this theme's not quite working, you don't have to start all over again. You can just go to document and change theme. Okay, so there you have it. That is everything that you need to be able to get started with Keynote. So obviously this is just the basics and there are a few more advanced things that we can do and hopefully I'll look at those in a future video. But at the moment, you now know everything that you need to to use this free piece of software on your Mac. So I hope that it has been useful for you and I'll see you in the next video.